now so the neurotransmitter right the predominant neurotransmitter of your sympathetic nervous system is the noradrenaline now if you take this particular noradrenaline right you take this noradrenaline it acts on the sympathetic receptors right it acts on the sympathetic receptors now you take this particular sympathetic receptors the sympathetic receptors we have two types the noradrenaline it acts on right it acts on alpha receptors right and this noradrenaline it also acts on the beta receptors now you take this alpha receptors alpha receptors they are of two types and these two types of alpha receptors are like we have alpha 1 receptors and then alpha 2 receptors you take this alpha 1 receptors and as well as alpha 2 receptors again there are subtypes in alpha 1 and as well as the alpha 2 you take this alpha 1 alpha 1 receptors like we have alpha 1a right and then we have alpha 1b or 1d right alpha 1b or 1d okay so these are the subtypes of alpha 1 receptors you take alpha 1a this alpha 1a it is present in the prostate urethra this alpha 1a it is also present within the eye next you take this alpha 1b or 1d receptors they are mainly present within the blood vessels so once these receptors are stimulated there will be vasoconstriction and maintenance of the blood pressure of the individual next you take alpha 2 receptors if you take this alpha 2 receptors they are present on the presynaptic and as well as the postsynaptic right so if you take this is the nerve terminal that is a presynaptic nerve terminal and then this is the postsynaptic nerve terminal right and this you consider it as synapse right this you consider it as synapse so prior to the synapse the nerve terminal whatever you are having this is the presynaptic right presynaptic nerve terminal whereas this is your post synaptic nerve terminal right this is your post synaptic nerve terminal now you take alpha 2 receptors the alpha 2 receptors are present in the presynaptic nerve terminal and alpha 2 receptors they are also present in the post synaptic nerve terminal if you see this alpha 2 receptors right they are present on the presynaptic right they are also present on the postsynaptic right presynaptic and postsynaptic you take the presynaptic right what is the use of the presynaptic alpha 2 receptors being stimulated whenever the presynaptic alpha 2 receptors are stimulated remember they act like break to the sympathetic nervous system right so stimulation of the presynaptic alpha 2 receptors they act like break to the sympathetic nervous system now you take the postsynaptic alpha 2 receptors the postsynaptic alpha 2 receptors they are present in the blood vessels right they are present within the blood vessels and along with the blood vessels they are also present within the brain 
right along with the blood vessels they are also present within the brain okay that is about the story of your alpha receptors alpha 1 receptors and as well as alpha 2 receptors next you take beta receptors beta receptors they are of three types right we have right we have the beta 1 receptors beta 2 receptors and then beta 3 receptors right then beta 3 receptors you take beta 1 receptors remember this particular beta 1 receptors they are present in the heart and they are also present in the jg cells that is juxta glomerular cells of jg apparatus within the kidney now you take this beta 2 receptors remember these beta 2 receptors they are present at multiple places first and foremost they are present within the bronchus that is in the respiratory system in the bronchus the beta 2 receptors are present and apart from that they are also present within the git they are also present within the urinary bladder right so in the bronchus git bladder also present within the uterus right also present within the liver and apart from that they are also present within the blood vessels and skeletal muscle spindles right skeletal muscle spindle they are all the places where the beta 2 receptors are located that is bronchus git bladder uterus liver blood vessels and skeletal muscle spindle next you take this beta 3 receptors remember this beta 3 receptors they are present mainly within the adipose tissue right they are present within the adipose tissue they are also present within the coronary vessels and urinary bladder right coronary vessels and as well as the urinary bladder so these are all the places where your beta 3 receptors are present all right so this is completely about the distribution of your the alpha and beta receptors so you take the noradrenaline it acts on the sympathetic receptors the sympathetic receptors are alpha and then beta receptors alpha receptors are two types alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 again you have two subtypes that is alpha 1a and alpha 1b or 1d alpha 1a they are present within the prostatic urethra and they are also present within the eye you take alpha 1b or 1d receptors they are present within the blood vessels and alpha 2 receptors you have presynaptic and postsynaptic presynaptic they act like the break to the sympathetic nervous system and postsynaptic they are present within the blood vessels and as well as the brain and the beta receptors three types that is beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 beta 1 receptors they are present within the heart and as well as the jg apparatus or jg cells of the jg apparatus the beta 2 receptors they are present within the bronchus the git they are present in the bladder the uterus liver blood vessels and as well as the skeletal muscle spindle you take the beta 3 receptors they are present within the adipose tissue the coronary vessels and as well as even within the urinary bladder